This is WVNY TV 22 in Burlington, Vermont. Walmart, one step closer to Williston. This is News Center 22 at 6. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mark Economo. The Vermont Environmental Board gave the go-ahead for a proposed Walmart in Williston. But before the final approval, the board says Williston must improve the roads around the Taft's Corner area. The plans call for a 114,000 square foot Walmart store and a 132,000 square foot Sam's Discount Price Club. The stores are slated to go into the land behind the Ponderosa restaurant on Route 2A. The decision talks about some, some road improvements that the public and private entities need to do for all development at Taft Corners, not just for Walmart. Um, we've already, the board already has acknowledged that we've done our part, and we're looking forward to working with the public entities to get those improvements done. But those are all programmed improvements that the state and the town and the county have dictated need to be done and we say let's get on with it let's build them and, and let's get the store open and that's the focus that we're going to have on the project the citizens group vermonters against the wall say they will not stop fighting the walmart store they remain concerned about the sprawl which they believe will come with walmart and we've in fact uh, done a calculation from what studies of the cost of the traffic improvements which must be operating and in place before they build and it amounts to over ten million dollars worth of improvements and uh, I, I don't think the taxpayers either in Williston or in the state of Vermont are ready to spend that kind of money to contribute to sprawl. The O'Brien Salon Training Center in South Burlington fired back to charges levied against them by school officials in both Essex and Burlington and in a recent Burlington Free Press article the Salon Center says they received unfair and misleading publicity about their current training program. Colin Parker now with the latest. O'Brien Salon Training Center in South Burlington provides students with an interest in cosmetology a first step, preparing them for a career in that field. School officials in both Burlington and Essex who participate in a partnership with O'Brien's said they think it may be time to reevaluate the training program because of the amount of money it costs to keep it up. An article in today's Burlington Free Press reported on this news, but O'Brien's director, Marsha O'Neill, says the reporter did not tell the whole story. None of the information, absolutely none of the information that she discussed with us was in the paper, was in the article. And then the information that is there, a considerable amount of it doesn't contain all the facts. Some of it doesn't contain any facts. And uh, I was very upset. Among the complaints O'Neill says she has with the article, it says Burlington taxpayers spent over $7,000 to send one student through the program. O'Neill explained that the taxpayers didn't pay one cent of that tuition. The student is in Burlington for the summer to take summer school courses and will enroll at O'Brien's in the fall. The article also says that the student didn't take any academic courses, but O'Neill confirmed the opposite was true with the high school this morning. Another concern, though, was the printed comment attributed to Representative Tom Smith of Burlington, who said, quote, the students can't live on cosmetology school. Usually they are single mothers and they can't begin to make it. They'll end up back on welfare. I happened to be a single mother when I was going through hairdressing school. I've been in business almost eight years and I've made it. I took it as a personal insult. Uh, it's, it's what you make of it. I mean, working hard and setting goals for yourself and there are women out there who do do it. You can make what you want to be out of yourself. You just need to strive harder. And it was too bad that he had to say that to reflect on everybody else, not only on the welfare system, but anybody else going to school that, you know, we, you make yourself what you want to be. And they think we're coming here and play with hair and do all that stuff. They don't understand that there's anatomy, chemistry, physio the G and everything else like that and I think that's what people don't understand is it's, it's a lot of work like that book work, technical work mm -hmm. 
so I think that was misunderstood in the paper. School officials from both Essex and Burlington say their basic concern is money, that the program doesn't qualify students to work after graduation. These students all say they knew coming in that they would have to take other courses or do other work before starting professionally. And even then, says O'Neill, O'Brien's salon helps every student with job placement. Colin Parker, News Center 22, South Burlington. Nearly 700 homes in Jericho and Underhill will go without phone service late into the night. Workers installing water lines in front of the Browns River Middle School accidentally tore through a cable which services all 899 numbers. 9X Repairs says the damage is severe and asks the public to be patient. It's the older type cable, which is non-color coded, so it entails technicians both in the our central office and in the field, and every pa individual pair has to be toned out and put back together from both directions. So that is why it takes so long. We dispatched uh, seven technicians out to repair the line, and we'll be working around the clock, and hopefully most of the service will be restored by midnight tonight and the remaining of the lines will be restored by noon tomorrow. Be patient with us. Uh, we, are, we have as many guys as, as possible working on it without getting in each other's way, and hopefully for the best, midnight tonight. Shelburne Health Officer Tom Bissett says more extensive testing and investigating along Shelburne Beach took place this morning. They collected more samples to try and learn where high levels of fecal coliform came from. The set declined to comment on causes until today's test results come back on Monday. The beach, meanwhile, will remain closed until at least then. An anti-abortion advocate this morning shot and killed a doctor in his and his security escort in Pensacola, Florida. Vermont Right to Life issued a statement this afternoon stating they strongly oppose any use of violence as a means of stopping abortions. Tonight on Headlines at 11, we'll talk to a friend of the doctor killed at that abortion clinic. He lives here in Burlington. Congressman Bernie Sanders says the Subcommittee on Administrative Law will hold a hearing on uh, and makeup of a bill approving the Northeast Dairy Compact. It will take place on the 3rd of August. The Northeast Dairy Compact would establish an interstate commission which would have the authority to regulate the farm price of milk that will ultimately become the fluid variety for drinking. Democrats speak up about not spending more than they need to and later a fossil that could turn out to be the oldest ever found. Tonight's news is brought to you in part by your Honda dealers. As standard equipment, the Honda Accord LX has power windows, door locks, and mirrors, stereo cassette, oh, cruise control, and dual airbags. Cool. And it still costs over $1,400 less than the Camry LE. But if you think that's impressive, the Honda Civic LX has these same standard features, and it costs over $1,700 less than the comparably equipped Corolla DX. Want to be even more impressed? Come see your Honda dealer this weekend for a deal that's far from standard. Martins introduces new lower prices on over 4,000 items that will stay at the same low price for weeks. And our new name, Martins Shop and Save. Great prices, week after week. Hey, we know you're busy and can't worry about the best time to buy a car, but here's a clue. The Jeep and Eagle clearance, on now, and featuring big savings on Jeep Grand Cherokees. Plus, great deals on Eagle Visions. And we're not shouting, but you get $300 cash back on four-cylinder Jeep Wranglers, and package values on Jeep Cherokee Sport. So, take a time out. You could save a lot of money here. The Jeep and Eagle Clearance, worth looking into. Hey, we'll see you there. See your New England Jeep and Eagle dealer now. Mr. Chairman, I'm not here merely to remind you that Lincoln Mercury dealers are selling more cars than you are. I'm here to blame you. Maybe if you made quality cars like Lincoln Mercury, mm. we'd be able to match their summer deals. Right, guys? The Lincoln Mercury Summer Sales Drive is on now, featuring the VA-powered rear-wheel drive Mercury Grand Marquis, just ranked best model in its price class in initial quality by J.D. Power & Associates. Any more questions? See your Lincoln Mercury dealer today. Backers of single-payer health reform say they won't give up their effort to bring their style of health care to Vermont. The Vermont Consumers Campaign for Health says some of the legislation under consideration would bar individual states from pursuing a single-payer model. Six of the seven Chittenden County Democrats vying for a seat in the state Senate said they'll keep campaign expenses low. 
The announcement came with a challenge, though, from their Republican opponents to do the same. The candidates this afternoon all said they would adhere to the state guidelines for spending limits as established by Secretary of State Don the Hooper. The decision to abide by these voluntary guidelines, and they are voluntary, is a measure of the way we will be looking at the taxpayers' money. That there are many ways in which to accomplish the goals we've set out, whether it's property tax reform, health care reform, any of the other issues that Democrats have historically fought very hard to achieve. Everybody should look at what they're spending on everything that's going on right now. Part of this country's biggest problem is the way we're spending. We're a debt-rich company and a cash-poor company. And if we can demonstrate that it doesn't take twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 to get somebody into office, it takes a few dollars here, a few dollars there, spent in the right way, and people get to meet us one-on-one, -on -one, they're going to find out that we're really the people they want in there. I find it unconscionable to spend more money than many average Vermonters make in a year on a campaign to represent them in the Vermont Senate. Robert Thorne, the Republican candidate for State Auditor of Accounts, says he hails the decision by Vermont Governor Howard Dean and Attorney General Jeff Amistoy to investigate current auditor Ed Flanagan. Thorne says Flanagan handled his management review of other state agencies in an unprofessional manner. The heirs of Vermont State Police diver Gary Gabbery continue to fight over his death benefits. At issue, more than $2,700 a month in workers' compensation and death benefits. Gabbery died in May of 1992 while trying to recover a body from the Huntington Gorge. Labor and Industry Commissioner Mary Hooper ruled this past May that 50% would go to his widow and their daughter, and the other 50% should go to the two sons from Gabbery's previous marriage. Karen Gabbery appealed that decision. The Vermont State Police say they will conduct patrols this weekend designed to stop drunk driving. They will also conduct patrols on August 1st in the Lamoille County area. The troopers will also enforce the state's seatbelt law as well as other sanctions that promote highway safety. The stock market advanced strongly today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average rose over 33 points to end the day at 37.64. The Canadian dollar closed up against the U.S. dollar, and the price of gold closed in New York at $383 an ounce, down $1.80. A great surprise in the weather today. Tim Drubridge joins us next to let us know if it'll stick around. So you stick around. Mr. Chairman, I'm not here merely to remind you that Lincoln Mercury dealers are selling more cars than you are. I'm here to blame you. Maybe if you made quality cars like Lincoln Mercury, mm. we'd be able to match their summer deals. Right, guys? The Lincoln Mercury Summer Sales Drive is on now with great deals across the board and a great luxury of choice with generous values available on all Lincolns. Any more questions? See your Lincoln Mercury dealer today. More isn't necessarily better. For instance, when it comes to snow in your driveway. Or more candles on your birthday cake. But when it comes to Shearer Chevrolet Geo, more is definitely better every single day of the year. That's because at Shearer we have more new Chevys and Geos than any other dealer in northern New England. Which means more selection, more value, and more satisfaction. So if it's a car, van, or truck you're looking for, you'll find more at Shearer Chevrolet Geo, Route 7, just south of Burlington. If you have a septic system and you don't maintain it, there could be a time bomb ticking beneath your house and a backup in your future. Better diffuse that time bomb with maintenance and advanced formula Ridex septic treatment. Ridex has super digesters that can liquefy even paper. Grease cut the rate of buildup up to 30% and it's still all natural and safe for pipes. So diffuse that time bomb with maintenance and Ridex. Super digestion for more backup protection. Tonight's weather is brought to you by a Sable Chasm. Tim Drawbridge joining us now with weather. Nice surprise today. Beautiful day. A beautiful surprise. I was a little taken back. I was expecting mm -hmm. some breaks in the clouds, but for the most part, a beautiful day. Low amounts of humidity, but it is going to increase during the course of the weekend. Kids are. It looks like uh, Camel's Hump down in Colchester. Yes, I it mean, does. Down in Huntington. Yes, it does. It does look like Camel's Hump, and it was a good day if you did have the opportunity to head for the mountains and uh, sit back, take the hike, and enjoy the sunshine because I think tomorrow it's going to be quite limited. It comes back on Sunday, but uh, by Monday and Tuesday, once again, we're dealing with clouds, humidity, and maybe some do uh, dodging of showers and storms today. However, a great day, lots of sunshine, some hazy skies from time to time. 
With that sunshine today, the high temperature 82. Our morning low with those clear skies got down to 58. No precipitation, 98. In 1949, 45, and 1987 are your records for the day today. Currently under mostly sunny skies, the temperature is the high for the day. 82, starting to feel a little sticky with that dew point at 62. We have a steady barometer and a subtly breeze at 12 miles per hour. Temperatures across the rest of the region shape up like this. Montreal up there at 82 degrees, also 78 across the lake in Plattsburgh, also down in Rutland. 85 Lebanon, in New Hampshire, and 80 degrees in Glens Falls, New York. Weather watcher time, let's head to Wallingford, where Kelly said this is better than the rest of the week. He had 75 degrees down in Wallingford. Over to Milton we go. We check in with Eric, who said it's warm and it's humid, 78 degrees. Satellite loop of the lower 48 will show us that we have the same configuration with the jet stream. We have high pressure bringing the cool weather on into the central plains, into the southeast with more record lows of the clear skies, the fall air mass. We have the moisture streaming up the east coast. We got lucky, the close-up view showing us with the clear skies here across New England. However, we make our trek down into the middle Atlantic and we can see that we have some more clouds coming up on the way. In fact, by tomorrow afternoon, I'm expecting these clouds to be back into the region. It looks like we're going to expect some more shower and thunderstorm activity. That's where the activity is currently falling. And it looks like, for the most part, it's going to trek north to eastward during the overnight period. Map of the night tonight shows that we will have low pressure just poised to our south and west later on this evening. It was warm from New England all the way back on into the Great Lakes, but here comes the humidity. That cooler air, where is it? It's back over Ontario, and it looks like as we proceed through the next 24 hours, these fronts, they're not going to go anywhere. In fact, as we proceed through the rest of the weekend, it looks like these fronts are going to die, and as they do so, can allow for that Bermuda high to build on back to the west and allow that humidity to also come back and visit us. Isn't that good news? High temperatures during the day tomorrow, they'll be mainly in the 70s and the 80s. Back with the complete details of my forecast right after this. Othable chasm, more spectacular than you can imagine. One and a half miles of breathtaking beauty carved by nature over 500 million years ago. Enjoy an exotic boat ride down the ancient Osable River. Unique, unforgettable, and fun for the whole family. Osable Chasm, complete with cafeteria, gift shops, and a KOA campground. Take exit 34 or 35 off I-87 to Osable Chasm, one of our great natural scenic wonders. Welcome back, everybody. My forecast for the overnight period goes like this. It's partly cloudy right now. We will see the clouds gradually increase, thicken, and lower. Your overnight lows falling back between 55 to 65. Now, during the day tomorrow, there could be a few breaks in the clouds during the morning. Otherwise, we're looking for some afternoon periods of rain and some more storms, 73 to 83 for your highs. The marine forecast for the broadwaters of Lake Champlain goes like this. Your water temperature, 75 degrees. During the day tomorrow, we will see a southerly breeze at 5 to 10 knots, producing waves of about a foot, and your water level stands at 96.06 .06 feet. The extended forecast shows, hey, we're going to end the weekend on a good positive note. Part, uh, mostly sunny skies for Sunday. The high temperature will be 85. More clouds than sunshine overall for Monday. It's more showers and storms, too. 86 for your high, and the same type of story for Tuesday. Your high temperature a little bit cooler, 81, but the key for Monday and Tuesday is that humidity is going to increase also once again. So if you think it's humid out there right now, Wait until the end of the weekend. Okay, thanks a lot, Tim. The community of Heiner, Pennsylvania continues to get a lot of attention from the scientists and archaeologists around the world. As Bob Reynolds of WNEP reports, experts have dug up something that dates back a billion years. This rock face near Heiner in Clinton County is a scientific window to the past. To see inside, you have to carefully dig and know what fossils you're looking for. These animals had a mouthful of teeth, big ones and small ones. Um, and it, it was a ferocious predator. Scientists uncovered fossils from what they believe is the oldest amphibian ever discovered. It looks something like this and lived 365 million years ago. It was way before the dinosaurs like T-Rex and all. Of them. And it's even before the Carboniferous period, which is when all the coal in this region formed. It's older than that material um, by about 30 or 40 million years. The Earth looked a lot different 365 million years ago. Pennsylvania was located far below the equator and was made up mostly of swamps. I keep thinking about 365 million years ago, how old, how old that actually is. It's really hard to comprehend how far back that goes. The fossil discovery has attracted jeweler Norman Delaney of Renovo to the site. 
you know, if I get lucky and discover something really neat, yeah, it'll probably hook me. There's layers of bone fragments through mm -hmm. here. This is what we look for. Douglas Rowe Vernovo is hooked. You see, he spent the last year with scientists helping them dig out pieces from Clinton County's past. Well, I'm excited about it. It's, uh, can't, not everybody goes out and finds these things every day, and, and when you do find them, it's, uh, you feel good. There are tons of soils to sift through, and possibly more secrets locked in the rocks. Ironically, the prehistoric soils were exposed by something very modern. PennDOT sliced through the mountainside to build Route 120. Bob Reynolds for ABC News. Here's one that caught our eyes when it crossed our desk. 74-year-old Mary Plouffe will marry 64-year-old Bob Ryan on Saturday. The catch? Both are residents of the Birchwood Terrace. They will have a double ring ceremony at 11, and a special honeymoon suite has been prepared. We wish them well. The second day of games in the statewide Babe Ruth tournament today. Lisa Gilbert with highlights next. Then, our pet of the week. Simply the best, better than all the rest. You want to have a great summer? Get off to a great start with a Toyota Tercel. It has the lowest repair costs of any car. And now you can get 4.9% APR financing from Toyota. That's a great value. So is Toyota Corolla. Get air conditioning, stereo, save hundreds. And get yours before the special offer ends August 2nd. The great summer values with 4.9% financing are at your participating Toyota dealer now. Simply the best. In business, time is money. And with four discount calling plans for businesses in Vermont, 9X can give you more time for your money. More time to call clients. More time to make sales. More time to collect bills. Or collect data. In business, time is money. And with our low rates, you can make more of both. 9X. LPGA pros are coming to Burlington and spectators are invited. It's the Bank of Vermont King Street Youth Charity Golf Tournament presented by WVNY-TV Monday, August 1st at the Burlington Country Club. Attend the free clinic as LPGA pros demonstrate their shot making skills. Then follow Nancy Ramsbottom, Barb Bunkowski and 16 other LPGA pros for 18 holes of professional golf. Tickets are only $10 available at all Bank of Vermont branches and through the Flint Theater box office. The Bank of Vermont King Street Youth Charity Golf Tournament presented by WVNY-TV. Tonight's sports is brought to you by your New England and Northern New York Ford dealers. Lisa Gilbert joining us now with sports, starting off with baseball. Yes, a little bit of baseball, all kinds of baseball. But a big game last night. Yeah, very exciting mm. still. Somewhat ironic that on the eve baseball sets its ominous strike date, a Texas pitcher accomplishes perhaps the single most impossible feat imaginable. 29-year-old Kenny Rogers on the hill for the Rangers, setting down the Angels. Gets Bo Jackson swinging, then J.T. Snow looking. First 24 batters fail to reach base. Ninth inning now, three outs from perfection. Fans on their feet, Rex Hudler at the plate, a sinking liner to center. Rusty Greer lays out and grabs it, perfection intact. Last out is Gary D. Sarcina. Fitting that it's a fly ball to Greer, who hangs on for history, the 12th perfect game in the majors, first ever by an American League lefty. And when the guys were coming out to congratulate me, I didn't know who I was supposed to hug first, and uh, I was looking for Rusty for the catch he made, but, uh, you know, Pudge did a great job tonight. And I, I never really expected this, and it's, it's you know, I'm telling you what, I, I don't think it's set in. I really don't know how to, you know, ex explain, you know, what I'm feeling or what I will feel. When Rogers was a kid, I'm sure he had dreams of becoming a major leaguer. Just like many of the youngsters playing in the Babe Ruth Baseball Tournament this week at South Burlington. Today's first game matches Northeast Franklin County, a winner on Wednesday over Champlain Valley North against Lindenville, playing their opener after a first round bye. Pick it up in the fourth inning, Linden up 2-0, two outs, Nick Hale hammers the drive to left center, Casey McQuaid comes all the way around, no play at the plate, 3-0 Linden. They get another in the fifth, Matt Brill. A little looper to left, that drops through, Mike Corey scoots in, and that made it 4 to nothing. and that was your final. They play Central Vermont tomorrow, one late game this afternoon, pits South Burlington and Champlain Valley North. 
Results tonight at 11. Coming up, Vermont's hottest hitter first gets nailed, then gets even. Plus, the semifinals are set for the U.S. Hardcore Championships at Stratton. Stay tuned. Attention, this is your last chance to get incredibly low 2.9% financing for 48 months on 94 Ford F-150 regular cabs. 2.9% can mean over $3,400 in total savings, drastically reducing your monthly payments. Get 2.9% on a huge selection of F-150s equipped with driver's side airbag, rear anti-lock brakes, 24-hour roadside assistance, and much, much more. There may never be a better time to buy America's number one selling truck. But don't hesitate, there's only a few days left. Hurry to your New England and Northern New York Ford dealer today because 2.9% ends Tuesday. Expo's second baseman, Trace Cocolette, sure picked a good week to get hot. With all the big wigs in from Montreal, Cocolette drove in 12 runs the last three nights, raising his average to 348. Guess you could say he's in a groove. Against Pittsfield last night, oh, you can hear it ricochet off his helmet up here. Trace gets checked out, shakes it off, he's okay, and he comes back big. Down two, here's Cocolette in the fifth. That's three goings and a gone. A two-run job. That tied the game at four. Same score in the seventh. First and third, two outs. A full count for Cocolette. Of course, he comes through with the shot to center. Jeff Blum scores the fifth run. John Safer the sixth. Vermont wins their fourth in a row, six to four. They're at Utica tonight for the start of a six-game road trip. After once getting removed to prevent theft, O.J. Simpson Heisman Trophy and Trojan football jersey were stolen from a display case at the USC campus. Meanwhile, at Stratton today, all the top seeds advancing easily to the semifinals, except for number three, Mary Jo Fernandez. Fifth seeded Eva Majoli knocked her out. Majoli meets number one, Arancha Sanchez Ricario in one semifinal. Conchita Martinez and Amanda Coetzer meet in the other. So okay. pretty much going according to form there. Yes. Yeah. All right. Thanks. And the, the championship takes place? Tomorrow and then Sunday's and championship. Sunday. Okay. Thanks a lot, Lisa. On tonight's Pet of the Week News Center 22's Kim Ragsdale introduces us to a 10-month-old puppy named Zeke. As you'll see, this dog's all mixed up with different breeds, that is, but he's got the best of everything in him. He is a cross between a chow and a lab. I really didn't know what to expect. I know that labs are very affectionate and intelligent. Chows are very affectionate and gentle, and they're very cuddly. Uh, as you can see, he has a, um, a, a tongue that's kind of chow and lab. It's black and regular color. See? His tongue might be different, but he's still like all pets that need a good home. At just 10 months old, Zeke spent most of his life in search of a family to love him. He came to the Burlington Humane Society from another overcrowded shelter and now needs you to adopt him. He has been totally wonderful uh, in his time with me today. Uh, now that black tongue doesn't mean anything negative, it's just a characteristic of the chow breed. His hair is also kind of more chow than lab, kind of long and wavy, and he's got that chow tail that kind of comes back over his back. Zeke is so gentle and mellow, but being a pup, he still likes to play and be curious. All he needs is a bit of training, and you've got one great dog. So head over to the Burlington Humane Society and take a look at Zeke. You're going to fall in love immediately. Call the Burlington Society to adopt any pet at 862-0135. I'm Kim Ragsdale for News Center 22 in South Burlington. And that's our report for now. ABC World News tonight with Peter Jennings up next. We'll see you for headlines at 11. Until then, good night. Summertime is Sonoma time at your local North Country GMC truck dealer. Right now, choose from a great selection of new Sonomas with prices starting as low as $9,476.
These totally redesigned Sonomas are equipped with a powerful 2.2-liter fuel-injected engine, five-speed manual transmission, anti-lock brakes, AM FM stereo radio, 15-inch tires, and more. Test drive a Sonoma today. Ask about special financing and lease programs. See how much more truck your money buys at your local North Country GMC truck dealer. Summertime is Sonoma time at your local North Country GMC truck dealer. Right now, choose from a great selection of new Sonomas with prices starting as low as $9,476. These totally redesigned Sonomas are equipped with a powerful 2.2-liter fuel-injected engine, five-speed manual transmission, anti-lock brakes, AM FM stereo radio, 15-inch tires, and more. Test drive a Sonoma today. Ask about special financing and lease programs. See how much more truck your money buys at your local North Country GMC truck dealer. Starts August 6th on WVNY-TV. Star Trek The Next Generation, Monday through Saturday nights at 7. 